Hey, this is FTD Facts, guys. Thank you so much for joining me here. My name is Leroy Jenkins, and now we're talking about lies that people believe that are actually not true. Now, before I get into this episode, guys, I want to know, what was the last lie that you told? And if you say, well, I don't tell lies, well, you just told one. Also, if you're not an astute FTD fact watcher, I can't believe you guys out there, you would know that, no, my name is not Leroy Jenkins, it's Leroy Kenton. So for those of you new viewers that are just tuning into FTD Facts for the first time, yeah, you don't have to be making no Leroy Jenkins jokes. Ah, oh, those are getting so old. Anyways, moving on to our first lie fact. First lie, bulls are aggravated by the color red. The fact of the matter is the vision of a bull is dichromatic, meaning that it's essentially colorblind. So they don't even see how bright red actually is. Lie. Thomas Edison created the first light bulb. But the fact of the matter actually is electric lighting and incandescent bulbs existed before Edison. What Edison actually did was discover a type of bamboo that had a higher resistance to electricity than carbonized paper, which means now that light could be more efficiently produced. The next slide is we only use 10% of our brain. What? However, the fact is we use 100% of our brain. Now before you say, no, that's the biggest lie, we are not that smart as human beings, you gotta give yourself a lot more credit than a lot of people say you should give because we actually do need to use 100% of our brains. The 10% myth was actually a misquote from a man by the name of William James, who was an American psychologist that said, the average person only develops only 10% of his latent mental abilities. So there's a big difference there. Now, have you ever heard the phrase, beam me up Scotty, coming from Star Trek? Well, the phrase actually was never even uttered by anyone from Star Trek at all. The phrase, beam us up, Mr. Scott, it came from gamesters in Triskelion, in 1968. Another lie is that the goldfish's memory only lasts three seconds. But actually, goldfish are capable of learning, they're capable of retaining information for long periods of time, and they can actually call upon and act on the information stored in their minds even after a long period of time. Lie, most of your body heat leaves your head, so you gotta wear a hat, like me. But actually, the heat that is lost through your head leaves your body at the same rate as any other part of your body. But most of the time, it's usually usually the part of your body that is the most exposed. Now here's one I believe, ostriches, they dig a hole and put their head in it when they feel threatened. But no, when an ostrich is actually threatened, they run. Also this one, this got me too. Chameleons change color to blend in the background, but no, they actually change color to communicate with other chameleons. Whether it's like a dude chameleon trying to pick up a lady, you know what I'm saying? Or just general communications. Kind of like us, we put on flashy clothes to attract attention. Now here's one that we've all heard. People are predominantly left-brained or right-brained. Well actually, the fact of the matter is that is a complete lie. Whether you're more emotional or more creative, it has nothing to do with being left-brained or right-brained. It's just who you are. Based on several other factors, of course. Now, another lie is that we taste different flavors in different parts of our tongue. So like bitter is only at the back of the tongue, salt is at the front of the tongue. But no, that's not the case at all. You see, our taste receptors are all over our tongue. They're not confined to just one area of the tongue. Contrary to popular beliefs, coffee is not made from beans. Coffee is actually made from seeds that are called coffee beans or coffee cherries. Now here's one that's propagated. Vikings wore horned helmets. But actually, there's no real reason to believe this. There has been no horned helmets ever found. Oh my gosh, guys, and Frankenstein is not the name of a monster that came alive because of some flash of lightning. No, Frankenstein is actually the name of the doctor that created the monster and the monster doesn't have a name. So when someone tells you next time that you look like a Frankenstein, tell them, wow, thank you. <laughs> I look smart. 
Now, here's another one for you. Mount Everest is not actually the tallest mountain technically because a mountain is defined by how far it is above sea level. So this makes Mauna Kea in Hawaii the tallest mountain. Now, if you had overprotective parents, you probably heard this. If you swim right after eating, you'll get cramped and drown and die. But you see, our body is perfectly able to adapt to us swimming and digest food at the same time. Now, if you overexert yourself, while swimming, yes, you can definitely get cramped or get a little bit queasy, but it's no different than if you were going to the gym and started going hard after you ate. It has nothing to do with being in water. It's something that would have happened anyways. Okay, so if I asked you, why is the fruit named the orange called the orange? Most of you would think that, oh, because the color of it is orange. But no, the fact stands that it is the orange opposite way around. The color is named after the fruit. The English speaking world referred to the color orange as giolo red, meaning yellow red. But the word orange itself was actually introduced to English through the Spanish word naranja, which came from the Sanskrit version of the word meaning orange tree. So when it was adopted in English, they dropped the N from the beginning of the word and formulated it into the word orange. Yeah, I know, pretty mind-blowing, right? Now here's one that scared me, man. Gum takes years to digest and I've swallowed so many gum in my life, it is ridiculous. But no, gum digests pretty much the same as any other food. Lie, watching TV too close will damage your eyes. Well, you know, sitting close to the TV is not linked to any sort of health issues at all. The origin of this dates back to a time when a batch of about 100,000 television televisions were released by General Electric in the 1960s and those TVs emitted radiation that was over a hundred thousand times higher than the level that was considered safe. So those TVs were recalled but the myth persisted for years to come and to this day people still believe it. But speaking of being blind, did you know that bats are not blind at all? As a matter of fact, they have pretty razor sharp vision. And oh my gosh, this is one of the biggest lies that I hate. Sushi is not raw fish. Go to a restaurant, yo, let's get some sushi, man, because I love sushi. Ew, I don't eat raw fish, that is disgusting. No, 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 no. When raw meat or raw fish is served, that is sashimi, traditionally. But the most common type of sushi is wrapped in seaweed, which is called nori, with rice in it and other sort of foods. You can put avocados in there, potatoes, yams, whatever the case may be. And the words sushi and sashimi are not interchangeable. They're completely different foods. So sushi has nothing to do with raw meat. You can put raw meat or raw fish in there, but that is not sushi. So there you have it guys. We cleared up some bold-faced lies and myths out there that people believe are true. And hopefully after learning this now, you can breathe a little bit easier. So thank you guys so much for joining me in this episode of FTD Facts. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you are new to be notified of future videos because this is where you learn about any and everything each and every single week. Be sure to check out our other videos as well. We talk about people, science, outer space, everything pretty much. Until the next video guys, I'm Leroy Kenton. I'm Audi. Peace.